Here's what a battle looks like from topside. Remember, the brass hats can't be every place at once, any more than you can. We've been hammering that enemy line for three days now, trying to find a soft spot. This is the last crack. We've been pounding them for hours and getting nowhere. Then, suddenly, the map has changed. Not much, nothing important. A little dent in a 20-mile front. How did that dent get there? Remember, those lines on the map aren't just lines. They're soldiers, individual soldiers, just like you. Or like Joe Barker. What are you guys gonna do? This place looks plenty good to me. Well, what the hell happened to the sergeant? He got hit back there, I saw him. Bad? Not good. He told us to keep moving up. Yeah, then he got shot. There's a machine gun up there around the edge of that woods. No. Maybe the three of us could knock it out. Are you kidding? I couldn't knock out a hot dog stand. I'm kind of poop myself. You know, I'll bet there's something we could do. Look, the second battalion tried to take that woods yesterday. You saw what happened to them. Hey, if they couldn't do it, what do you think three guys in a shell hole could do? Well, nothing as long as we stay in a shell hole. What the hell is the matter with a shell hole? Ain't it good enough for you? Too wet. You know, my mother used to tell me, if you keep your feet dry, you'll, you'll live to be a hundred. Hey, where are you going? Cover me, will you? how that little dent got on the map. First, it was just Joe. Then Joe and the other two guys. Then a squad followed them in. Then the whole platoon. Pretty soon, the company had broken through and was fanning out. By noon the next day, a division had poured through that gap.
see, I'm so pooped, I bet I can't even sleep. Back in that shallow hole, I was too tired to fight. And we've been going 24 hours since. It ain't possible. You know, it's funny. I thought we were losing that scrap back there. Nah, you never know whether you're winning or losing until after it's over and then somebody tells you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Mother used to tell me if you keep your feet dry, you'll live to be a hundred. There's our secret weapon, Mr. Hitler. Joe Barker from Willows, Nebraska. He can march further and fight longer than any square head in your outfit. He can outfight you with a rifle or a bayonet or with his bare hands. He's got something to fight for, Mr. Hitler. He wants to get back to that farm in Nebraska. And brother, he's in a hurry. <laughs> 